A two hour documentary of the shooting at Robb Elementary is facing a lot of rejection this morning. Santigo's Theater telling me that they will not show the film as scheduled. Meantime, a private screening is still on for Monday in Uvalde for the victims, family, survivors and loved ones. Now, if you believe social media, the screening may not be well attended because a lot of people say they're going to boycott the theater. The film's director, Charlie Min, says he had a lot of participation and support until now. Well, it's not the first time that any of his documentaries have met some resistance because he's made a laundry list of true crime films with a portion of the proceeds, he says, promised to the victims. So I asked him about it. The tragedy at Houston at NRG Park, the concert crush, that was your concert crush. Santa yeah, Fe Travis shooting. Scott. Yeah, Santa Fe shooting, Sutherland Springs, El Paso Walmart shooting, Parkland, Las Vegas, Pulse nightclub, cartel violence, which covers a bunch of them, right? Um, it's, it's so much that people have pegged you as like the, the, the tragedy guy. Do you, do you think, what, what would you say to that? My films are victim driven. I mean, everyone has their own perspective on it. Um, you know, however someone perceives my films, I mean, that's on them. But well, what continues to draw you to these? Marvin, we live in a corrupt world. We live in a violent world where a lot of things are happening between Ukraine and mass shootings in California now. We're in trouble. Uh, you and I could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. San Antonio has a lot of crime. We have to be vigilant. To continue to do a list like this, there has to be some success. Shouldn't there be some success? What have you changed? Well, I know a lot of people have watched the film, uh, mainly because of streaming. Uh, I see my streaming numbers and, and, and they're high. It, it does take a little bit of time. Where is the change? I can't answer that question because for all the people that have watched the film, I don't know what it did to them. It's not like I sit down and meet these people and ask them specifically, okay, what did this film that you watched that I directed do for you? I think personally, I'm doing a good thing by representing victims, representing survivors and families and having their stories out there. How much money have you donated to victims? A lot. I mean, I've lost track. I mean, I do money. Well, what's a good number? Frequently. What's a, what's a good number? Probably close to six digits in that area. Six digits over how many films, would you say? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, 30, 30 plus. Okay. Um, because I have to recoup costs. And nice. uh, w the money that I make goes into the next victim-driven film. So this is sort of a cycle. Cycle. So do you really make money on these films or are, are they money making? I mean, Marvin, I, I, mean, I, I hope you can talk about more, more of the message here, not the money. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a little Well, surprised, I think that's but... that's that's a part of the message because that's that's the way you present it. You know, I will do this film and donate a part of it. And that's that's a part of the message. So the theater owner in Uvalde says he will not show this documentary if the families say after they've seen it, they do not want to see it. He wanted to give them the proceeds from the box office and from the concessions. Yeah, uh, just at the Uvalde. Theater, just right? at Uvalde, right. Meantime, uh, City Base Cinema says they don't even have the film booked. We're waiting to hear back from uh, a theater group that covers places like El Paso, Abilene, and Lubbock as well.